Hello everybody, welcome to the Microsoft Excel tutorial video. Today I will show you how to solve the linear optimization problem by using Microsoft Excel. Let's see the problem. The homemade jam factory wants to produce four types of jam. They are strawberry jam, blueberry jam, raspberry jam, and mixed berry jam. Let's see the recipe. For the strawberry jam, it takes 450 grams of strawberry, 450 grams of sugar, and 0.5 grams of salt. For the blueberry jam, it takes 400 grams of blueberry, 370 grams of sugar, 0.5 grams of salt. For the raspberry jam, it takes 420 grams of raspberry, 420 grams of sugar, 0.5 grams of salt. For the mixed berry jam, it takes 160 grams of strawberry, 160 grams of blueberry, 160 grams of raspberry, 330 grams of sugar, and 0 0.5 grams of salt. Let's see what they have in that stock. They have 6,000 grams of strawberry, 4,500 grams of blueberry, 3,700 grams of raspberry, 20,000 grams of sugar, and 1000 grams of salt. This problem wants us to find the maximum profit. We can find the maximum profit by finding the amount of jar of each type of jam that we will produce. First of all, we have to find how many jar that we need to produce for the strawberry jam, blackberry jam, raspberry jam, and mixed berry jam. And then we will multiply the number of each type by the profit per jar here. So let's start doing this. First, we have to delete all the question mark in the table. And then we have to copy the table here, press copy, and paste. And we have to create all the value here. We will use this table to show us the ingredient usage. This table will show us all the amount of the ingredient that we have to use to finish this production line by producing the exact number of this row. Okay, so let's start with the first cell. This cell will show us the story that it takes to produce this number of storage jam. So we have to press equal. Select this cell that show the number of strawberry jam multiplied by the amount of strawberry that it takes per jar. Press enter. We did the same thing for this cell equal and this cell multiplied by this cell. For me, these two cells look quite familiar. Because this one is shifted, but we don't want this one to be shifted. So we have to lock C15 by pressing F4 here. Press Enter. And now we can drag it down here. So for, for the last break, we will see that it will be C15 multiplied by C9, that is the raspberry that it takes. And for the sugar and salt, it's the same. C10, C11. For the blueberry, we did the same thing. We 
calculation equal number multiply by stop it at 10 we don't want this cell to be shifted so we have to press F4 press enter drag it down here see this one for us we did the same equal number multiply by this cell F4 enter drag down here for the next worry we did the same we do the same thing equal the amount of a jar multiply by this cell don't want this cell to be shifted so press F4 enter so we, and we drag it down here okay and for the required story this cell we show the summation of this law because this law shows us solely that it takes for each type of jam if you sum them up it will be all the story that we require for this production so this cell should be the summation of this law you can read it by equal sum and the bracket and then in the bracket with the cursor in the bracket we have to drag and select the law here press enter and this thing is the same we can drag down okay so this one will show us the amount of the ingredient that it takes to finish this production line for the maximum profit we have to use the formula by press equal then your bracket this one will be the summation of the profit from the strawberry jam, blueberry jam, raspberry jam and mixed berry jam for strawberry jam the profit is the amount of a jar multiplied by the profit per jar Press the one for the bookery. Divide by the profit pressure. And for the last bury. Number the amount. Multiply by the profit pressure. And for the mixed bury. The amount multiply by the profit per jar ok now finish. press enter ok now we have to use the tool that call solver this tool is in the data bar here this one solver if you don't have this tune yet, you can press Find Option Click Add In Press Go here and check in the box. That's all. That card Solver Add In. Press OK. After that, the Solver will be here in the data menu so we have to use the function solver by selector cell and print solver ok now we have to set objective 
for each sale for now we want this sale that show the maximum profit to be the maximum value so prepare this sale and choose it to the maximum value for this pairs the one are to fill in the sale that the value can be changed they will learn down the value for us to give the highest value for this one so the, the value that can be changed is this one the amount of each type of jam so to select this low okay and we have to add a constraint that is the limit the limit for the solver we have to add the condition so the solver can give up the correct value because we have the limit amount of ingredient here so we have to add them in the solution so we hit add and the required story cannot be over so we use less or equal 6000 press add press add and do the same thing for the probably press add same thing for the last berry same thing for the sugar Add. The last one is salt. Press add. Because this cell show us the number of the jar. So the number have to be the integer because we can separate the jar. We have to have the exact number of the jar that is the integer. So we have to set only one condition that tell the program to make it number to be the integer so we can select this low and change here to be integer here press ok now the solver parameters is ready to solve for the optimal point of this problem and press solve and press ok so we will see that the maximum profit is 1860 baht the amount of thermal jam that we have to produce is 12 jars thermal jam is 10 jars Library jam is seven jars. The mixed library jam is three jars. The trickiest part of solving this kind of problem is how to use the solver tool. By using the solver tool, you have to set the objective. For this case, the objective is finding the maximum value. Second thing is select the variable changing cell. Value in the selected cell will be changed randomly to get the objective. In this case, those cells are the amount of the jar. And the most important thing is how to set the constraints. For this case, the constraints are the available ingredient in the stock and we have to set the amount of jar as an integer. Thank you for watching.